do I make you mine? Maybe time will tell. Perhaps I'm back for your world. And I ask myself why. And I ask myself why. Mm-hmm. Who's to say that I'm in love? Who's to blame that I feel? I said it I feel so close to be Way from to bring in the new year. Two cups self raising flour, one and a half cups soft brown sugar, one and a half cup butter. We're doing apples instead of gooseberries. Have you ever made gooseberry crumble? No. Nope. We have gooseberry. And so behind that, there's um, the fire bowl as well. So it's one fifty. Uh, so one hundred thirty-five. Coleslaw, crisps. Mm. Bringing in the new year with an apple crumble. Apple crumble is one of my faves. I made one at Christmas, so I thought I'd continue tradition. Mixing together the flour and the butter till we get a nice little crumble mixture. I'm gonna put some oats in as well. Mmm. Mmm. That's just 
my favorite. I'm in my dad's music room, which I don't think I've ever shown you guys, but my old flute. I haven't picked this up in years. It's probably been like four or five years, which is kind of crazy, but you know, in the spirit of connecting with my inner child, I thought I would pick up old habits, old hobbies, and see how it feels. I knew skills were the thing that made you a better player, but I hated them. I can't really remember. my grade 8 piece. There's no way I'd be able to play this anymore. Is it this one? In my defense, I'm actually not wearing glasses, <laughs> but breath work. My breath work is, yeah. The breathing, the tone, okay. I feel like my lower tone, I still got it, but the higher stuff? versions of YouTube you can just listen to, you know. Mm -hmm. Emmanuel Petit, his, he's the head principal flute in Berlin Phil, he's, he's, he's French, but his versions are always the best. Am I an excellent flute player, Baba? I think he could be. Am I a child prodigy anymore? A <laughs> child prodigy anymore. <laughs> yeah, maybe not that. I think, with a little bit of practice. No, I, I, I think you're not far away. You know, it, it's, 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 it's practice for everything. Practice makes perfect. Lots of skills, and you do lots of skills. Hey guys, I hope you're doing well wherever you are. I just wanted to do a little like sit down chatty portion because I feel like we haven't caught up in a while. And being back home, I don't want to say that I've been doing like inner child healing. I think I was very lucky to grow up 
pretty content most of my childhood. I've just been like embracing inner child qualities, even just being like looked after and cooked for. I'm not taking that for granted like at all. Hanging out with my parents as like friends rather than just seeing them as my mom and dad. And yeah, the past few weeks has kind of been like a safe space in this crossroads of my life right now. Having come back from Indonesia and like the past few months of not having a base and next month, this month, I don't know when this is gonna go up. I'm actually moving. We are, we're moving. We'll talk about that later. This time of rest has been much needed. And as I said, just like embracing a lot of this inner child energy, simple pleasures, home comforts, reclaiming this idea of playtime and doing things for the fun of it and the pleasure of it rather than having it as an end goal. Like I really want this to be a theme for 2023. I was writing a lot about, yeah, this idea of actually just doing things for the pleasure of it rather than focusing on like the outcome. I know I love goals, like I love writing down short-term, long-term goals, like figuring out the steps to take to get there. Having these kind of, this goal mindset for my personal life is something that I really want to like retrain myself out of. Our society is so goal driven and I don't necessarily want to have that mindset for things that I genuinely just enjoy and that I want to do for myself like I did as a kid reading. I've been reading so much more being back home and I've been keeping my Goodreads updated. But I think if I'm so focused on hitting targets it's really just going to take out the enjoyment of actually reading. I don't know, in this inner child spirit I've been taking up old habits and hobbies again like playing the flute that I talked about. Guys, I used to be a flute girl growing up. I played so consistently and I would practice a lot with my dad and I haven't picked it up in since before university. It felt so good to play again and this skill of music, reading music is something that I don't want to lose. My breath work was all over the place, my fingering, not great. But it's actually mad the amount that you still retain from a hobby that you had as a kid. It's ingrained in you somewhere and it uses a part of your brain that, I don't know, I haven't exercised in a long time. Basically what I'm trying to say is I've been having a lot of fun doing things that I used to do growing up and not really assigning a goal to them like actually just doing it for the fun of it 2023 is definitely going to be the year of not taking life too seriously and just having fun with things last year i was so focused on time moving and like not achieving things by a certain age not having life worked out by a certain age but no one knows what's going on so we may as well just enjoy ourselves and enjoy the process and have fun with it. So yeah, wishing you a very happy new year. Very excited for the next few months, months. As I said, we're moving in January. Kind of alluded to it in a few videos or just like offhand. Don't think I've actually talked about it, but I have decided that we are moving to Paris and I'm really excited. I'm really nervous, especially for the flat hunting process because I've heard a lot of horror stories. I've been watching Damon's videos and yeah, taking notes. I'll definitely take you along for the process, but I genuinely felt very content there. I really see myself being there for a longer period of time and I think I'm just really craving a base, somewhere to just always be able to come home to and have my stuff. And obviously with every city there's its pros and its cons, but for me it's so central to like Europe for traveling and French is a language I've always wanted to be fluent in, so the only way to do that, you know, is to just move there. It's been great talking about my parents when they were, I think when they were like my age, after they finished university, they both moved to Hamburg without speaking a word of German and without having a job and without having an apartment. They both moved to, yeah, start life there, try and find a job. I love hearing their stories from that time and they both can still speak German. So I think they're also really excited for me to move somewhere kind of new. Yeah, we're going in the deep end. We actually have to book a flight also, um, <laughs> but that's my update. That's how we're doing. We're good. I think we're good. Anyway, I'm off. <laughs> 